Hey guys, thanks for checking out Sprint Social. I'm delighted to be able to give everybody an overview of what Sprint Social is all about. Sprint Social is a plugin that I created with one simple objective. I wanted to make it really, really easy for anybody to sell anything anywhere on the web. I didn't want people to have to create an e-commerce store. I didn't want any hassle with listing products. I wanted something really, really simple. I'll give you a little bit of the backstory that led me to create this product before giving you a tour. I'll keep it very quick. I was in a store in my local town and this was a store that I happened to love and I knew that it had a Facebook page. I asked the owner if he had an e-commerce store and he said no and I asked him why and he said because it was too much hassle that he didn't really want the bother of setting up an e-commerce store the expense that he marketed everything through his Facebook page but his Facebook page was full of people asking when he posted up an image of new stock or a new item, if it was still in stock, how much it was, if he could hold it for them till they come in and buy. And I thought, OK, there has to be an easier way. And that was where the idea for Sprint Social came. How cool would it be if this store owner could simply drop a link onto the Facebook post with the photo and have people buy directly from there? Of course, I didn't want it to work just for physical products. I wanted it to work for digital products, too, because I knew that there were so many people online who didn't want the hassle of an e-commerce store. So that's where I'm at and that's where the product came from. And now I'm going to jump straight in and I'm going to give you a tour. So since Sprint Social is all about getting your products out there quickly without a store, let me show you exactly how you can do that. So let's begin by clicking on new product. You'll see that you're taken to a page here where you can add in some information for your products. Let's make it simple and let's call it a video marketing ebook. The currency can be set in the settings. I'm going to set the price at $10. I'm not going to ask for shipping because this is a digital product, but I am going to set the stock to 20 copies because I want to do a little scarcity here and have a small little discount for early buyers. So the next thing I want to do is add a file. I'm just going to take a sample file here. It's important to note that when you add this file in the media library, the file is protected and you can set the protection settings in the settings of Sprint Social you know, according to IP address, according to number of downloads, time and so on. So once I've got the basic details in here, so let me also mention that the stock is controlled by the plugin. So when you sell an item, the stock will decrease and you'll see when you're running low in stock and I'll show you how you can do that in a little while. The next thing I want to do is add a pitch. So let me add an image from the media gallery here and let me just select this image here and I'm just going to copy and paste a description that I have already here for this. So this is basically where you put your pitch and introduce your product. So I'm telling people I'm releasing 20 copies at a special launch price and click the link to buy. So once that's done, all I've really got to do is publish and then my link is generated. But I'll show you that there are several fields here. You'll see that this is your shareable link, but you'll also see that you've got a shortcode here if you want to add the link to your blog. So you can also track your link. You can track sales through Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter and your blog. So let me just click on Facebook here. And of course, you can automatically share from within the plugin or you can, you know, copy and paste and drop the link in. So that's what I'm going to do. So let me go to Facebook and let me add that here. So I'm going to grab some description that I have here already written. It's just to tell my friends and network that this is available and I can remove that link now. It's just telling people really that it's ten dollars, you know, for the first 20 people and they can buy with the link below. So let me post that. And you can see that Sprint Social then puts in the image, it puts in your description, you've got your your notification here to your network of what you're doing. And the great thing about Sprint Social is that not only can people click here directly and be taken to PayPal to buy, you can see that people can also comment here. You can invite um, commentary. You can build up social proof around what you're selling. And of course, it's very easy for people to go ahead and share this link with their friends and network. And when they share this link, they're effectively sharing your payment link around the web. So that's the great thing about Sprint Social. It does have built in capacity for going viral with payment links. I'll just pop back to the product here. This link, whether you use a plain link or a link with an attribution there, you can share that pretty much anywhere. You can put it in a forum signature. You can put it in an email under a video. You can even put it in a video as an annotation. This link can be put anywhere across the web, across social media, because it will always direct people to PayPal and always deliver your product. 
So what I'm going to show you now is exactly how that happens. What happens when a customer pays and buys your product? So let me go to PayPal and let me go ahead and pause the video while I pay for this product that I'm showing you in this demonstration. I've paid for the ebook and I'll be directed to a download page on my site. This download page can be any page that you choose in your blog and you can customize the text on that page. The download will start automatically once the customer reaches that page and then they can go ahead and just save the download as normal to any folder of their choice. The download will also be emailed, emailed to them and there will also be a link directly on the download page where they can click it if it doesn't automatically pop up. So that's how easy it is to sell anything anywhere using these simple links. And it's powerful because you don't have to sit waiting for traffic to come visit your e-commerce store. You don't have to put in a lot of effort to getting people to come, a lot of time, and a lot of money. You can simply take these links and you can bring them out to the, the web. You can pass them around and share them anywhere where you have a network or where buyers hang out. So it's a great way for quickly getting your product out into the market. So let's go back to the Sprint Social admin area here and see what's happened. If I refresh, you can see that we have some update for units sold today. So you can see that I have a total here and I can see that one unit has been sold through Facebook. You can look through the stats there daily. You can also get summary stats by week, month and also by product and the source of the, the sale. So you see also that you've got a summary here of your most recently sold products. The stock has reduced to 19 items on the video marketing ebook because one, have so one has sold. So when that reaches zero, the link will expire and nobody else will be able to purchase that product unless you reset the stock. So it's important to note that if you do have a link and you don't have a product anymore, if it's for a physical product, for example, and you have three or four items, that you can set the link to expire and you don't have to worry about people buying something that you no longer have in stock. So you can see a list of all your products in the dashboard here and you can go through those and keep track of the stock. As I mentioned, you can get the link quickly and you can do a quick share across Facebook, Pinterest and Twitter. You can also see all the payments that you've received for your most recent products and you can and you can sort those and you can and if they're shipping, you can sort to see what needs to be shipped and what has been shipped. So if I click into one of the payments here, you'll get a more detailed overview that tells you to whether this product is to be marked as shipped. Once that's marked as shipped, you can then keep track of it in the payment section here. Also, on every product, you'll have product logs and I'll go and show you that. So let's go back into the products and let's click on one of the products here that we want to edit most recent one and you can keep track of everything that's happened in the logs underneath. So this will tell you who's paid for this product and you can click on that transaction and have a closer look. So that's pretty much everything that happens in the back end to help you keep track of what you're selling and where it's selling best and who's buying it. So I hope you enjoy this overview. I hope you can see the real value that Sprint Social can bring to your business. In literally two or three minutes, you can have products out there in front of your market and you can take payments hands off, have those products delivered and not have to worry about a single thing. Thanks for watching.